In the name of the law, we bring you another of the thrilling stories in this exciting series, taken from actual police case files. begins on a perfect 4th of July morning in Fort Smith, Arkansas, as a happy family prepares for a picnic to the accompaniment of sputtering firecrackers. Joe! Joe! Stop shooting off those firecrackers and come and help me. Now, what do you want, Julia? Bring those chicken and that ham out here on the porch where I can pack them in the basket. All right, Julia. I'm bringing them. Oh, gosh, I hate these for the July picnic. <laughs> like a bear hates honey, you hate them. Uh, now put those fried chickens here on the bench. Mmm, those chickens look good enough to eat. Man, sakes, what do you think I fried them for? Now, Mary and the others will be here any minute. We've got to hurry if we want to get the big clear quick in time for dinner. What with the crowds on the road and all. Oh, gosh, Julia, I'd rather eat my victuals here at home on the porch. Set out where the ants begin. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you always say, Joe Barrett. But we couldn't keep you away from a picnic unless we put you in a street jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Just a fugitive from a picnic, that's me. <laughs> well, here you are. Here's the ham. Ham. And the cheese. Hmm? And the jelly. And the coffee. And the... Say, where's the tomatoes? In your hand, Joe, as usual. Rack them up in wax paper. Mary just loves nice ripe tomatoes. Oh, say, how about me? Mary won't even think about food today. The gal's in love. Isn't it grand? Just think, Mary and Harry engaged. I've known them ever since they were babies. Mary's a mighty fine girl. Sure, and Harry's a fine young man, but... oh. Mary's so young, she's only 15, and in to think of marrying, why... Well, I... Mary's older in her ways than most girls are 15. I'm glad she's marrying a good boy like Harry did. Where are my hard-boiled eggs? Now you know you shouldn't eat them. You can make out with chicken and ham and chocolate cake. Oh, shucks, you can't have a picnic without hard-boiled eggs. You know how I like them. Oh, no, Julia, you know I like them. Jolly as usual. Can I help you, Julia? Uh, no, thanks, Mary. Maybe you can at the picnic. All right. Uh, sit down a minute, won't you all? Yeah, yeah. Sit down and rest your wraps a minute. <laughs> I'll shake you up a cocktail. How about it, Harry? Well, whatever the others say goes for me. <laughs> so, uh, mix us up one. Why, the 4th of July only comes once a year. What do you say, Alice? Give it, Ron. We all live one. Shake it up, Joe. The victim, Mary. The bride to be. And to Harry. Yeah, yeah. One thing in the ceremony, Harry. Hard-boiled eggs on picnics or no wedding. Thank you, Joe. I'll sure see to that. Well, here you are, boys. Now, now, drink up. Here's to a footy bride. And I'm so glad she's mine. All the hands. Yeah, but that motorcycle-riding fool brother of yours, Harry. Best brother in the state of Arkansas. I got the drink.
Oh, Mary, it's it's wonderful to have you out here in the country, all alone. Well, the world seems to have stopped today, Harry. No time, no anything. Just you and me. And the flowers looking their prettiest. And, and all for you, Mary. Oh, you're lovely. Oh, Harry. Look at the water. Doesn't it look cool? Uh-huh. Oh, gee, it's so warm now. I wish I were in it. What's the 4th of July without a swim? Oh, you're such a kid, Mary. I wish I had my bathing suit. I'd duck right in that water. Mary. Mary, you're so impulsive. Sometimes I get scared. Oh, scared of what? Scared something will happen before... Before we get married. Oh, Mary, kiss me. Hold me. Then I'll be sure you're really here. There. There, does that convince you? Oh, it sure does, honey. Harry! Oh, that means Harry! Uh, yes, Mrs. Bar- Barrett? Uh, will you and Mary take this bucket and get some water? Sure will. Yes, we're glad to. My, hasn't it turned hot? Yeah, Mary was talking about a swim. Uh, uh, don't be too long. Joe's yelling for his vittles already. I brought him some eggs, and I'll be boiling them as soon as I get that water. Else he'll never stop talking. Wait, Harry! Wait, Mary! Wait for me! I'll wait, Alice. I'll wait here for hours, Harry. You you get the water for Julie yourself. Oh, all right. See you later, honey. All right. Well, thanks for waiting, Mary. Oh, isn't it hot? Oh, I wish we could go in bathing. Well, why can't we? Well, we didn't bring any suits. Oh, what does that matter? We go in... You know, step in. Oh, I don't know. Somebody might see us. Oh, there's nobody around here. And really, lots of bathing suits are just like step in. Come on, Alice, let's go. Well, there goes my dress. Well, and here goes my right slipper. <laughs> Mary, if I had a figure like yours, I'd be in Hollywood right now. Oh, Big Clear Creek in Crawford County, Arkansas is good enough for me. Well, here I go into water. Oh, gee, come on in, Alice. Oh. Well, is it very deep? Oh, it's awful cold. Come on in, Alice. Oh, I am. All right, come on. As soon as I get this dress up. Here you are. Here I come. Oh, wonderful. Oh, okay. I'm going to swim up the creek. You coming along? Not me. I'm not that good at fish. Well, you mind if I swim up around the bend? No. I'll thank you. All right, Alice. See you later. Julia, I, I'm just waiting till Mary gets back. I wonder why she and Alice are so long. <laughs> uh, just imagine a man not able to eat cause this gal, ain't he? <laughs> Pass a ham, please. Uh, wait till you've been married as long as Julia and me, Harry. You won't lose your appetite easy. Ham, please. Here's the ham. <laughs> Thanks, Dusty. <laughs> I, I suppose I am foolish. Hmm. This chicken is good, Julia. Mm, boy, is it. And you'd better hurry up on your share, Harry. Uh, Dusty won't leave anything. <laughs> He's pitching it in just like it was hay. <laughs> sure, Roy. My brother's loads his appetite, but uh, nothing's the matter with mine. <laughs> oh, my. I wish we'd waited for Mary and Alice. Seems kind of unsociable like to start dinner without them. Unsociable, my eye. We waited half an hour. That's one thing I like about a picnic. All the house rules don't hold. <laughs> oh, I wonder where Mary and Alice are. I think I'd better go hunt them. Oh, they're all right, Harry. There's a dozen pass from the creek down here. You might miss them. Don't be so nervous. All right, all right, Dusty, but... Why, well, there's what? Alice now. Alice! Alice! Well, Mary, to hurry. Mary? Why, why isn't Mary here? No, Alice. Where'd you leave Mary? Why, she must be here. She left me long ago. Said she was coming right back. Oh. Where'd you leave her? She... I didn't leave her. She left me. We were swimming. What? Swimming? Yes, it was so hot, we went in in our stepping. Land sake. While we were in, Mary started swimming up the creek. I waited a while, got dressed, and walked through the woods. I thought... Uh, where are you going, Harry? I'm going to hunt Mary. Something may have happened to her. Well, Harry, wait a minute. I'll go with you. We'll find her. Oh, we'll find her. Harry, no, don't worry about her. I'm going with you, too, Harry. Yeah, me, too. I'm coming along, Joe. Oh, 
Dusty. I'm sure Mary's drowned. I'm sure of it. No, no, Harry. Now, don't take on so. We'll find her. She's all right. No, no, I'm sure she's drowned. You and I searched both sides of the creek. Joe and Roy are beating the woods. It, now, look, look. Pl- suppose she fell asleep. Oh, 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 she's playing a joke on us. <laughs> While Mary is Harry, full of jokes. Harry! Yes, Roy? What is yeah. it? I'm coming. What is it, Roy? Look. Look by that rock. Mary's clothes. It's a dress. Poor kid, she's drowned. And here's her slippers and a, a slip. Oh, she's been drowned. I know she has. Call the police. Call the police. Oh, Mary, Mary. I'll go call the sheriff's office, Dusty. You stay here and do what you can for her. Sure, sure, I will, Roy. <laughs> no, no, Harry, we'll find her. She'll be all right. Oh, I knew it. Something told nah, me. Ah, you know Mary. Always up to something. We'll find her. We'll find her, sure. L- let's look along the creek here. Oh, Mary. Mary. Here. Look at that creek and the big rocks in it, Mom. Yes, Arthur. The water is lovely. This is called Big Clear Creek. The water comes way down from the Ozark. The Ozark? Mm -hmm. Gee, I thought I would only read about them in books. Mom, I'm sure glad we could leave New York and have our vacation here. (laughs) Vacation, Arthur. It was good of your father to send us here. All this distance to Arkansas for a visit. Look, Mom. Look at that rock around the bend. Which rock? Oh, I see now. The one where the girl is taking a sun bath. Well, she, she can't be taking a sun bath, Mom. Her head's in the water. Why, sun? So it is. That is strange. Her, her feet are in the water on the other side, too. Yes, and her arm flung up that way. Oh, Mom, she... She ain't got hardly any clothes on. But she has on her underwear. Let's walk out in the creek on these rocks. Gee, Mom, what's the matter? You, you look pale. Oh, oh, oh. She, she's dead. Mom. She's dead. Mom, I don't want to see her anymore. Oh, don't look. Don't look, son. Oh, the poor, poor girl. Help! 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 I'm sorry, Harry. Here, wrap this raincoat around her. I'll help you carry her ashore. No, I'll carry her alone. Give me the raincoat. I'll take her in my arms. I'll carry her. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Mary. Mary, my darling. My poor Mary. Why did they do this to you? Why? Sheriff, the coroner's jury isn't satisfied that Mary Mayhaw was drowned. Oh, neither am I, O'Neill. Accidental death when the girl's body was found on a rock six inches out of water. There isn't enough current in Big Clear Creek at that spot to fling a body up on a rock that high, Sheriff. Uh, that's my idea, O'Neill. How far down the creek did they find her? 400 yards downstream from where she was last seen bathing. The current isn't that strong. Oh, you bet it's not. She was carried there. What does the coroner say? Well, he says the poor girl's neck was broken at the third vertebrae. She could have been diving. Nah. It was from a terrific blow with a club or a rock. It crushed her spine. That girl was dead when she was put on the rocks. Was there any water in her lungs? None. O'Neill, you're going to earn your money as deputy now. This is murder. Sheriff, I'm ready. I saw the body. Yes, Yes, you saw the body. The girl was only 15. Beautiful. Happy. A bride to be. I know. That's what makes it more horrible. Just a child and yet a woman. O'Neill, I want you to get together all the people who are on that picnic. All right, Sheriff. You don't suspect any one of them, do you? 
They were all Mayor Mayhaw's friends. Well, friend or no friend, one of them could have murdered Mary Mayhaw. Everybody present, O'Neill? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Here are your picnickers. All of them. Now, folks, you know what we're here for, I reckon. A girl was murdered, one of your party. Now I'm going to find out how it happened and who did it. I'm sure we're all anxious to help you, Sheriff, but I think you're barking up the wrong tree. We were all together when this, uh, this thing happened. You all were the last to see Mary Mayhaw alive. That's well, why you're here. Now, have any of you anything to tell me, or must I do the talk? Oh, no, I sure. Don't know how, how can we share it? We're all together. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So that's it, eh? All right, then I'll do some questioning. Which of you saw her alive last? I did. I guess I was in swimming with her. Uh, tell us the whole story. Well, it was warm, so Mary and I went in. Mary swam around the bend, and after a while, I dressed and came back. And that's all I know, I guess. The last time you saw Mary, then, was when she swam around the bend. Yes, that's the last time. Uh, what did you do then? Well, I went back to the crowd. They were eating. And? And then they asked me where Mary was. I told them what I told you. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, Miss Gray, Mr. Guilford here is your, uh, your friend, isn't he? Roy? Sure, he's my friend. I've known him for years. Then why didn't you go in swimming with him? With Roy? Why... I've just never thought of it. That's why, I guess. Oh, that ain't the reason. You had a date with someone, didn't you? You met someone at that creek now, didn't you? I did not. I most certainly Stop did. lying, Miss Gray. Who'd you meet when you went in swimming? Nobody, I tell you. I was there with Mary. Nobody else. And you didn't see anybody else there either? No, nobody. Where were you, Guilford? Well, what do you mean? You know what I mean. Where were you when the girls went swimming? Well, I was with the others. Oh, no, not all the time you weren't. Where did you go? Talk, Gilford. Come on, tell the truth. Well, I didn't go any place. Yes, you did. You were away for a half hour before Miss Gray returned. Now, where'd you go? I took. Ter- oh, yes, I remember. Yeah, I went for some wood. That's right. We, we were going to build a fire, and we needed some twigs. And it took you half an hour to find a few twigs. You expect us to believe that? Well, I don't care if you believe it or not. It's the truth. You liked Miss Mayhaw, didn't you, Gilford? Oh, no more than I did many other girls. Well, you liked her more than you did Miss Gray, didn't you? Well, how did... Well, that makes no... Well, no, I didn't. Mary was Harry's girl. That didn't make any difference to you now, did it? What do you mean, Sheriff? Ask your friend here what I mean. He'll tell you. Oh, don't believe him, Harry. He's only trying to make trouble. We're only trying to find out who killed Mary Mayhaw. Now, tell us what you know, Guilford, or we'll tell you a few things, and you may not like that so much. All I have to say is that I didn't kill Mary, and I don't know who did. About that other thing, I... Well, I did go out with Mary once or twice. I don't see what that has to do with solving this case. You went out with Mary? Why didn't you tell me, Roy? Oh, it was nothing, Alice. I'll fix you for that, Roy. You'll be sorry you messed around with my girl. How about you, Mr. Barrett? What were you doing while the girls were in swimming? I can answer that, Sheriff. My husband here was interfering with everyone on account of those hard-boiled eggs. Hard-boiled? Who were they? Oh, you don't understand. Real eggs for me. Oh. Joe's crazy about them, and he wants us to make some for him, right in the middle of setting the table. I see, I see. Uh, did you leave the party at all, Barrett? No, but I should have. Those girl down for the July picnics give me a pain. Oh, uh, you gave Mary Mayhaw a drink intoxicating liquor before you went on this picnic, didn't you? What in the world are you driving at? You, you don't think I had anything to do with this, do you? Uh, it so happens that I'm the sheriff here, Barrett, and I'm asking the questions, not uh, you. All right, sheriff. Yes, Mary and me, I had a drink before she left, but so did we all. What about it? I say, we ain't getting anywhere, folks. Come here, Jordan. Uh, which one, Sheriff? Me or my brother? You. The other one who was engaged to Mary, aren't you? Yes. Uh, when was the last time you saw her? When she went in swimming. Did you see her go into the water? No. She said she'd like to go in alone. Then Mrs. Baird called me to do something. Later I found out she went in with Alice. You found out? Yes, from Alice. She came back, and when we asked where Mary was, she she said she thought Mary had come back. Then and you were the last one to see Mary Mayhaw alive, Miss Gray. I guess so, outside of the one who killed us. Uh, Mrs. Barrett, uh, who was missing besides these two girls? Well, I, I can't say for sure, but near as I can remember, Harry Jordan here was the only other one. He went for some water. I'll send him. 
All the others were there with you? Uh, I think so, but I, I can't be sure, Sheriff. Joe here was making such a fuss about... Well, what about Gilbert? Uh, oh, he was there. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, later he left for a little while to get some twigs, he said. Yeah, he said. Oh, uh, Jordan and me, Sheriff. No, 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 not this time. Your brother now, Dusty. Yes, sir, Sheriff. What is it? Uh, were you away from the party at any time while these girls were swimming? Not that I remember. Why, Dusty. Yes, you were. Well, come to think of it, I... I was for a little while. I... I went for some water. Oh, so you went for some water, too. Yes. Mr. Barrett here wanted some hard-boiled eggs, so I figured I'd surprise him and get some water and... But Miss Barrett sent me for the water. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, that was after I'd gone. Now, now, just a minute. And you went before your brother did? I don't know. That is, I... I might have... I really don't remember. You went for water. What'd you expect to carry it in? I had the only bucket. I... I... But... But... Well, you remember, Harry. I had a canvas bucket in my motorcycle kit. I was going to get the... I remember now. I remember now. Remember what? What's the matter, Miss Gray? I just recall something. Something that might be important. Oh, yeah? Well, come on. What is it? Well, you remember asking me if I saw anybody when Mary and I went in swimming? Yes, I remember. Now, did you? No, I didn't see anybody. Well, I'll be... Say, what's the idea? Are you playing with us or something? No, but... But I, I heard something. Something that I just thought of. Oh, you did. Well, come on. Tell us. What was it? Well, when Mary swam around the bend, I heard a motorcycle coming down the road. It stopped, and then I heard a voice, a man's voice, say, must be fun in there. And then he said something else, but I couldn't understand what it was. Dusty rides a motorcycle, but I don't know oh, where... Oh, just a minute. Uh, come over get here. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Hold it, boy. Stop right. Stop right. Shoot you, Jordan. All right. I'm trying to get away. You can't make it. You did it, Dusty. You, my own brother. You killed my girl. Harry, wait a minute. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to kill her. It was an accident. I, was, I didn't uh, mean come it. Come on, Jordan. Talk and talk straight. Well, I knew the girls were going for a swim. I heard them talking about it. And so I took my motorcycle and I rode up to the bend in the creek. Jordan, you have heard the verdict of the jury. Guilty of manslaughter in the first degree. Manslaughter of the girl your own brother intended to marry. I hereby sentence you to seven years in state prison.
be with us again when truth and justice triumph in the name of the law. <laughs>